what is up guys welcome back here to another battle of the ships yes we're gonna be looking into the flagship brawn test today and we're gonna compare it to its legendary form which is the cyclops that is not yet available which my prediction it will be available in a galaxy star event where everybody can compete just like the titan now if you guys are new to the channel and you haven't subscribed yet, I would highly consider that you would subscribe because we are going to be creating regular infinite galaxy content in this channel. And, um, you know, I would love to have your support. So um, go ahead and click that subscribe button. You're helping this channel out to grow and you're becoming part of the community as well. So, um, yeah, so um, subscribe and uh, press that like button if you guys like the content that we are making. And, of course, comment in the comment section below, what is your favorite flagship and why is that your favorite flagship? For me, I would say it. my favorite flagship now when I first started it was Artemis, but I have now changed it into Hades. Hades is my favorite flagship, so let me know what is your favorite flagship. I want to know in the comment section below. And, of course, um, you know, everybody's going to be able to read what's your favorite flagship. And, you know, maybe you'll have somebody there and make some friends. And, uh, you know, anyway, besides that, let's go ahead and talk about Brontes. Brontes is a cruiser flagship. Now, what we know about cruisers, cruisers are the last line of defense. They are at the very end. They have a very, very wrong... They have a very, very long range. So what is the benefit of having cruisers? Meaning that having the cruisers, they are going to be the last one to get defeated because they are the you know last line of defense. So if they are the last ones to get defeated, meaning you will have less repair if you are also using the Brontes type of uh, flagship if you are set up with the cruisers. Now... There's a few things that we want to look into with the Brontes. We're looking into the skill. So skill number two in here, Warship Attack plus 24.8%. Warship Shield negative 36. So you get the attack, but then you lose the shield. So this is not a flagship that is going to be the tanky flagship. This is an attacker. This is a destroyer. Well, we can't say destroyer. It's another warship. This is a hunter, basically, or attacker. Now, third skill in here, cruiser attack frigate bonus, 96%. Really amazing. This, this is an absolute counter to the Artemis. Imagine this. Cruisers are supposed to be weak against frigates. If we go into the cruiser setup in here, you can see that increase damage against destroyer and reduce damage against frigates okay so my input towards the frigates is lower but then if you look into the frigates the frigates will have increased damage against cruisers so frigates will counter cruisers but the brontes is a stubborn flagship and as well as the cyclops which we're going to talk about in a little bit in here the brontes is a very stubborn flagship so we do know that there is a reduction, right? Did I say 15%? Let's go back in here and go into the cruisers. They would say 15%, yes. So reduce damage against frigates by 15%. So you have to understand that by using this flagship, right? By using this Brontes flagship, you also have to minus 15% in the total of the damage. But it's good because it just negates the entire negativity. So you are in the positive mode when you're trying to hit a frigate with the cruisers. It's amazing. Now, skill number four in here, cruiser attack and cruiser HP. So you're going to increase this by 28.8%. That is pretty normal, uh, very simple to understand in my opinion. The last skill, the last skill in here, increase damage when the total HP of the deployed fleet is higher than 70%. So in the beginning, there's a condition there. In the beginning, I hate, I hate the conditions. I hate it. I don't like the conditions, but it's part of the game. In the conditions in here, 70%. So when you come out and out straight of your spaceport, you start hitting, you get that bonus, that 48% at the max level. But as it goes down, you lose the value of the skill. But you have to imagine this in the point of view of stacking. 
This is the cruiser. What did I just say in the beginning? The cruisers are going to be the last line of defense. So meaning you are going to be at the 70% for a very long time when you are stacking or even if you're doing a rally. But of course, in a one-on-one -on -one scenario, you cannot, and I repeat, you cannot simulate one-on-one. -on -one. I repeat, you cannot simulate this to be the perfect scenario. So you have to understand at the stacking point of view that the Brontes works really well because you'll be at that 100% for a very long time as you're destroying your enemies uh, for gits and as well as their destroyer until you get face to face with the cruisers, of course. But depends on how much uh, you're being reinforced as well. Let's say you're in a battle, your frigates are almost done, and then somebody came in and replenished the frigates, then your Brontes with your cruisers are still in a good to go mode, higher than 70%, getting that 48% buff. Very nice. This is a um, kinetic weapon as well. Let's take a look in here with the cyclops the cyclops we don't have this yet i expect this is going to be a competition one so if you're really looking for a cyclops maybe you need to hold off on doing all these galaxy star and really wait for the cyclops to come out in the galaxy star event so a few things that we need to understand for the the cyclops we don't have this yet so we're not really going to go too much in depth with this one the cyclops it has the same exact buff as the um brontes but the difference in here of course it's a legendary so the numbers are going to be much higher so for here um as you can see it's going to be 75.6 percent and then 201.6 percent is which is insane 60.5 percent and 108 percent so i have some images right here so there's going to be the um the cyclops and there's going to be the brontes you'll see the stats all right and now the differences is in here as well as you can see in skill 2 the differences is 39.6 percent the differences in skill 3 is 105.3 percent skill 4 31.7 percent and 52.8 percent for skill 5. it's a huge jump huge difference because it's a legendary of course and the stats i don't know the actual stats yet but you can take a look into the stats as well. There's a huge, huge difference as well. So the attack bonus 282 and 4.2k HP. Just by looking at that, right? You can take a look. Bronze 253, 3.8k. Big difference, right? But here's the thing. The Bronze is going to be a lot easier for you to max out than getting the Cyclops. Of course, the Cyclops is more of a late stage end game type of thing. But if you have the Brontes, this is super good already. And, you know, with this game, what I've noticed is that you can really uh, increase or level up your epic ships much easier than compared to other type of games, which is really nice. So I suggest that if you're looking for, um, you know, your style to where you want to heal less, you might want to go for the Brontes and focus into the cruisers. This is going to be really great for free to play. Um, another thing is that, what I've noticed is that some of our other players who have invested into Brontes, they were scoring much, much more points than us. I mean, I've been running with Legendary. And it's because that they, you know, they don't die off early. And another thing is that they have a lot of attack. 36, you know, percent maximum in here, right? And then more attack in here as well. And you also have some HP buff. And then total worship attack at the higher level, right? 70% above. So the Brontes is an absolutely really good flagship. But you have to look at it in the terms of stacking, of course. Now, Brontes. Why I don't have Brontes? Because I didn't find out in the early stage that there is this ship that is actually pretty good. I like Brontes. But Brontes is not a flagship that can tank. So... He wouldn't be one of those that you would bring into a one-on-one. -on -one. Let's say you're going to be hunting for a certain, uh, you know, event during this time. You're going to hunt for, um, you know, other space uh, warship or sorry, flagship that are flying around. Brontes might not be the perfect one for you to send out doing that. Brontes is very good at stacking, uh, being in the team play. So because Brontes don't have defense, right? And Brontes comparison to thesis 
Thesis would be a better uh, flagship for hunting because you'll have that defense and you're on assault. It's better for that scenario or even the nemesis. Um, now, the Brontes is a wonderful, wonderful ship. This is going to be my next ship that I'm going to work on. I don't know if I'm going to go for Cyclops once I have Brontes maxed out. I probably wouldn't. I'll just keep my Brontes um, and then I would focus on a different um, legendary. For me, right now, I my sole focus is on Hades and as well as Artemis because I've already been working on this. I've already invested. My number one tip for you guys is that focused on your flagship one by one. Don't spread out too much because then you're um, going to spread yourself too thin and you're going to have a much weaker overall. So for now, I need to you know max out my thesis. And once I've done that, then I will be able to progress into another set of uh, epic flagship all right so now let me know what you guys think what kind of uh, content we should do next as well so let me change this up i will need to change brontes in here i need to put like uh mm, where's my jason jason is pretty good for farming so i need to start farming as well have you guys been struggling on resources farming let me know in the comment section below and uh, did you leave a comment saying what is your favorite flagship and did we tackle some of these uh, favorite flagship that you have in the video today and um, how many of you guys have actually been investing on brontes already what is your take on brontes do you like it or not let me know in the comment section below so other players can also read it and maybe you can give them an insight as well into the ship because i don't have brontes right now but I will be getting Brontes, so that's going to be my next flagship. It's very good for cruisers, and it's a kinetic, um, you know, kinetic weapon. What's good with kinetic? It doesn't have an advantage, it doesn't have a disadvantage. It's a base, and it's very good. Um, so I know some of you guys have commented about me like having Laura. I like having Laura in here. I'm able to defeat higher level pirates by having Laura, increasing that fleet leadership uh, by six uh, six hundred. I might actually bring back Laura to deputy. It doesn't matter. I can always change things up in here, right? I might bring back Laura for deputy as I'm going to be starting to work onto my research again. So I'm going to bring her back down. Um, I might put an epic there, but I really want to have a legendary that is going to be a captain for my ship because with the legendary, you get two skill and it's just so good. Uh, and your level for this, you know, your level for the crew is not really lost because there is stats for your crew so it's a win-win scenario so i did up um you know lara in here but of course that i have some stats for lara as well that helps my flagship as well in here which is really really nice um my one advice for you guys as the um you know vip system is coming up and you know alliance gift chests are coming up if you see something that you don't really need right away in the shop in here i wouldn't purchase them until the a VIP. Maybe after I publish this video, the VIP and the alliance is there already. Um, you know, can just disregard my message then. Uh, but besides that, I would wait for that. But if you see something that is very important, go ahead and purchase it. Like I purchased Yielding Ding when I saw it. I just like, I gotta get her. It's like, there's no way I'm gonna pass out and skip on trying to get Yielding Ding, right? So I got Yielding Ding. Um, I like Yielding Ding. I think I just showed you what um, level she is. She is now uh, level five going to level six. All right. So you can see the stats in here if you're interested. But besides that, um, you know, I've got nothing else to talk to you guys about. Let me know in the comment section below what type of flagship should we review next? And are you liking this type of approach? And if you are liking this type of approach in the content, smash that thumbs up and appreciate it. And if you have Alliance, uh, you know, share this videos to them. Let's uh, let's try to grow this community together. Uh, it's still a wonderful community. Hopefully, we stay positive and stay on helping each other. And if there, are, you know, there is war, it's all about the game, right? It's just a game. It's a video game at the end of the day. Just have fun, help educate everybody, and uh, you know, just enjoy the game. Besides that, guys, thank you for watching. I will see you again next time.